Hi everyone. When you finish drawing your summer picture with your Sharpie marker, we're going to turn the background into like a tie dye pattern. So we're going to kind of combine these two together. So here's what we need to start with. We need to start with a whiteboard and we need um, the colors that we want to make our tie dye out of. I'm just going to do a rainbow tie dye using the rainbow order of colors. So I grabbed red, orange, yellow, blue, green, and purple. So I'm going to start in the middle of my whiteboard and I'm going to start in the rainbow order with red. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of making like a line pattern. And it's just like a straight line pattern that kind of what we call radiates from the center. So I go in and out from the center point right here to make kind of like a, a starburst. And then I'm gonna go to my orange. And it's okay to overlap your colors a little bit. That means it's okay to go over the red a little bit with the orange and make them blend a tiny bit. Yellow is next. That one's not working. I'm gonna grab a new one, put that one in the marker recycle bin if it's dried out. Make sure you don't touch the marker on the board either. You just want to have it laying without any fingerprints on it. All right, green is next. I'm gonna go all the way around the yellow, overlap it a little bit. And you don't have to do a rainbow tie-dye. You can do any color tie-dye you want. It's up to you. You can do like a color pattern. All right, blue, and then I'll finish off with the purple. And I'm gonna try and fill my whole board. So that's why I'm making the blue a little bit bigger because I notice I have a lot of space left. So I'm gonna go all the way around, a little bit bigger lines patterns, a little bit bigger line strokes. I don't have any room up here, that's okay. I'm gonna stop up there. And then I'll finish with the purple down here, making sure I fill my whole board. All right, when I finish coloring my whole board, then I'm going to get a spray bottle. Actually, I'm gonna go and take my board to the spray bottle center. So there's gonna be a table with a couple of spray bottles of water on them. So you're gonna take your board to the spray center and you're gonna take your summer drawing with you, okay? So I'm taking my summer drawing and my board and I'm gonna to go to the spray center. Now, when I reach the spray center, I'm going to spray my board with the water, not too close, but a few inches away. And I'm just gonna do a couple sprays, not too many. So I'm gonna do maybe one, two, three, four, five, six sprays. That should be enough. All over my board to make sure I get all the water all over. All right, final step is to make a print. We've done printmaking before. It's when you are kind of stamping something onto something else. So I'm gonna take my summer picture, flip it over, and I'm going to press it into my tie-dye pattern and make sure I rub the whole picture. I'm not banging, I'm just kind of giving it a little massage and rubbing. You should kind of see the color soaking through the page a little bit. And then when I press all over, I'm gonna pull it off. And there's my beautiful tie-dye print. Look at how awesome that looks. So this is done. If I have any color left on here, I can just politely wipe it off with a damp sponge for another friend to use in the other classes. All right, friends, put your name on your art and this is already pretty dry. It's not really wet at all. So you can put this in your art folder. All right, happy creating.